Hello everyone. Um, I think those who have been following my series of my friend going to Zimbabwe with me. So here we are. We took a flight from uh, Chicago to JFK. JFK to Kenya. That was a long, long flight. And I just wanted to kind of touch bases to find out how does she feel? How was the whole thing? At one point we were almost left <laughs> in JFK. I don't know how that happened, but you know, we thought we were following directions, but we end up sitting just the two of us at the gate <laughs> and everyone was gone. And um, so I just wanted to find out a little bit how, how so far that that feel to be the first time. Everybody knows how it feels to be first time somewhere that you have been wishing so much you wanted to do and you, you, you finally did it. That feel of finally I did it. And we met Mrs. Katio. Katio from Zimbabwe. So it was easy for me to meet her. She's from Zimbabwe. And uh, we just started speaking our language, actually. We speak the same language, so it was like we just talk and you know, a lot of stuff. So, but I, mainly I want to hear from my friend, who is the first time in Africa. So, Jurelyn, introduce yourself again. Jurelyn, uh, Jurelyn Jones. And one thing that I really want to say is that I feel like I didn't even know I was away from home until I came home. You know, I, I never, I was not one to always say I have to go back to Africa, I have to. I wasn't one of those individuals, but I understood it in my head that I came from another place, but in my heart today I got it. Mm -hmm. I got it for the first time. when. It almost brings me to tears <clears throat> because the energy is so different. I was explaining to my friend, you know, that a lot of times in different cultures, there's the contrast of the laid back, no problem attitude, which gets judged. But there's an energy with that. It's like everything is going to be okay. Yeah. And that to me is peace. And I experienced that piece when we almost got left. <laughs> because there was a tendency for us to be frantic. What do yeah. we do if yeah, we miss yeah. our flight? Yeah, yeah. We but the, running, yeah. To, but, but the attendants like, it's okay, don't hurry, you know? <laughs> It'll be all right. And I heard that. I heard that. And I felt that. It's yeah. going to be all right. And that to me was like being home. Yeah. And when I got on the plane, we met our friend. <laughs> yeah. There was another young man next to me who was from from um, Kenya, friend. from here, mm -hmm. Chris. Yeah. And the the flight attendants, it, it had that same energy. You're home. And when they said welcome, welcome home, I felt that on the plane when the when the captain said, "Welcome to Kenya, welcome home." Mm -hmm. So it it meant something to me. Wow, wonderful. Um, like I said, the first uh, video that we took, um, that video we were just like, almost like uh, experimenting, almost mm -hmm. like we don't know if this thing is going to happen, but uh, somehow I believed it. I believed when she said she wants to come with me to Zimbabwe. First I, I was thinking, I, I don't know if she's saying the right thing. But I knew her brother really wanted to come, but her brother is in hospital now. He's actually in the nursing home. So when she said I kind of felt like maybe she's replacing her brother, who really, really was expressing all the time he wanted to come to Africa. And then finally, honestly, like, it, it happened. It happened. And I want to think this is not the first time. I want to think these trips are going to be for a long time. Coming. And I want to add, Mrs. Katio, whom we met at the um, at the um, in, in in the plane, she actually it's interesting. She actually expressed that she also brought her friend. Oh yes, uh, <laughs> you know uh, it was 2020. 
2020, she brought her, her friend mm -hmm. and uh, tell us about that experience. So, How did it start? So I and told uh, my friend that I want to go to I want to go back home to Zimbabwe after like 18 years. So she told me, oh, I would like to go with you. I was like, ah, like what you're doing. Yeah. I was like, yeah. ah, she's just saying, it. yeah. So when we get to Zimbabwe, she was so excited and she was so happy. Even right now, she oh. wants to, she said, even if you don't want to go back to Zimbabwe, I don't mind, I'll go myself. Mm -hmm. She was so happy, the way my family treated her since that time up to now, the way she treat my kids, my grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Right now I have a suitcase full of uh, things she uh, get for my kids. Mm -hmm. So I know next time we'll be like to come even by yourself. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> and, and, and you know, it's like we haven't even finished the trip and yes. it's already exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's already feeling like um, you 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 accomplish something. It's it. You know, like you already done something by landing in Africa. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really huge. As much as the, maybe Africans we don't see it because this is where we were born here, right? It's and, it. You know, mm -hmm. and we know Africa is Africa. You know, it's my first day in Kenya, but honestly, I don't feel the way my friend is feeling, you know? Exactly. Yeah, I don't, exactly. you know, because I feel like Zimbabwe and Kenya, you know, they are neighbors. <laughs> they, they are the same people. We can kind of hear some words mm, of language, yes, and, uh, yes. what you call Swahili and Shona, we can hear some words and we kind of feel like this is the same land. But it's so different. And I think one thing I can really say is that I think everybody have to try to make, especially if you have the desire. If you don't have the desire, don't do it, because it's not going to save you anything. But you have to have the desire. And I think there's nothing like regretting to say, well, I wanted to do, and I never did it. And a lot of the times, there's no good reason why you never did it. So, because if you want something, my understanding, if you want something, you can always do it. Exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. we can always get it. So I think to just yen it's not enough. Hello. So I will encourage everybody to think of if you want it, go for it. Exactly. You know, when my friend said that I thought she's just talking honestly because she never expressed that. We have known each other for over 30 years. Yeah. You know? Next thing she's <laughs> going to say she's looking for a land. Yeah. <laughs> And a house, yes, buying yes, a house yes, and yes. everything, you know, but it, it is exciting. Okay. So tell us more, like, let me just, like, she hasn't finished her journey. Yes. yes. We wanted to capture this because there's so much in it. There's so much excitement. There's so much feeling of something. But for your friend who came here, what are some of the things that she she expressed? She uh, one thing she liked about uh, the way the, uh, the kids, they give her respect. The food, oh. since I know her, she, I've never seen her eating like beef. She said that she was vegetarian. But when we get to Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. she said, that, let me just try a piece. So every day for two weeks, <laughs> she, she was, was eating, eating beef. beef. Yeah. Then she liked the food. We're introducing it to our staple of food, Sadza. Uh -huh. She has never ate Sadza before. Did you ever eat Sadza? You made Sadza. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So here now we are going to eat Sadza with uh, different kind of things. Yeah. Uh, you eat Madora, you know? Madora, yes. yes. And we yes. ate so many things. Yes. You know, you know, yes. you know it's different. Mm -hmm. All kinds of things yeah. that you are going to see. That's called, mm -hmm. called a meal. It's a food. Okay. <laughs> and I turned her to some places, but although she didn't have enough time, she had only two weeks. So I take her to Lion and Cheetah Park, mm -hmm. and I take her to oh, Snake Park. So Cheetah Park? Cheetah Park? Yeah, there's a She wants to go. Yes. She okay. wants to go, so yeah, you need to give us some yeah. information. Yes, <laughs> Lion and Cheetah Park, yeah. Uh -huh. It's not very far. It's in, uh, it's 
uh, in the Bulawayo Road. It's not very far. Oh, so it's the... not in Bulawayo. It's Bulawayo Road. Road. Yeah, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 It's not very far in, uh, from the city. Oh, yes, okay. yes. Right. So here we go. Yes. <laughs> so that that's so important mm -hmm. that you know because let me say this. This is one thing that she say. I want and she sent me the the, the clip <laughs> and she said she wanted to go to this place where they said that you can walk with the cheaters or something. Cheaters and lions. Cheaters yeah, and yeah, lions. Yeah, I remember. One cheaters and lions. lions. Yeah. But in La, um, Lion and Cheetah Park, I don't think you will do that. You can you'll be, in the, you'll be, you'll be in the car. But there's a place which you can walk with the lions yeah. and yeah. cheetahs. Yeah. 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 My, yeah. Uh, my friend, uh, I'll ask her exactly where, but you said someone is going to meet you. Maybe they yeah, know. Yeah, they might know. Mm -hmm. But this is interesting because that's what she wanted. Yes. And when I saw yes. that, I was like, okay, you are mm -hmm. going to go alone. <laughs> not going to a lion and cheetah <laughs> walking with a lion and mm -hmm. cheetah i'm not doing that no a lion and cheetah park is closer to each other with a snake park oh she i think she like that too. i like oh wow her, her daughter has a snake <laughs> so, yes. so you know so that's that's some of the things i think mm -hmm. touching the food is so important and i i don't want to emphasize this but i want you to actually experience it. I want to I experience think that to experience yeah. what what are you going to experience with food? Because food here is different. It's very, very different. So and it's not different like we have exotic things, but it's a difference in the taste, difference in the natural. Yes. Mm -hmm. All that is really different and I think that's one thing that I believe is going to be um, something but I did a score here but let me ask you what do you think you yourself you are really or what are you looking forward what are the things that are coming into your mind to say um, I don't know how this is going to be or I wonder if this is going to be like this or anything like that I, I, Any of those. as I mentioned in the first uh, video I believe I'm open I really feel that, that there's a spiritual reason why I'm here. And I feel that if I have too much of a plan in my mind, or, then I don't allow myself to experience. So your words are right on. Experience everything. Experience the food. Experience your family. Experience the cheetahs. <laughs> so I, I just want, I, I want to have an open heart and just see what, what the energy is like. Yeah. I think it's just phenomenal. I was sitting behind you, and you didn't see me, but I was just smiling at you, and I thought, what are the chances that we'd run into someone who's from Zimbabwe yeah. and going with us? And yeah. we wound up journeying from the airplane down here together. Yeah, exactly. yeah. It was just, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't think... And it's also yeah. that you took your friend. Yes, that's, that's it's really a plus. It's, 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 it's a big it's plus. It's commonality. It's, it's, it's common. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's, yeah. That was like, oh, you know, I was happy because I was thinking, I wonder how it was for you. <laughs> <laughs> for you as you are bringing here. What was your concerns? What was your feelings? What was your... Yeah, I was feeling uh, like, oh, Oh, she's going to enjoy everything. Yes. So, you know, uh, she was so happy. <laughs> she was up to now. She wants to come back to Africa. Yeah. Yes. So you felt like you know oh, you yes. accomplished. Mm -hmm. You didn't feel like you know you let down a person who was maybe exactly. eager to exactly. do something and exactly. they didn't do it. So I think we need to be open to, like what she said. Like mm -hmm. we, when someone say. Can I experience this? Yes. I think we need to be open yes. and let them experience yes. Yes. and not yes. worry about what it might be. Exactly. You know, you go to the countryside, there's outdoor yes. toilets. I mean, I'm concerned about things like that. But at the same time, I, I, I need to be open to make you experience the same thing that I lived with and you know me and you know and you know this is my life that kind of thing so i think we have a lot to learn to so same thing learn. like what i did with my friend okay we were living in neighboring uh, 
but I told her that uh, we have to go to the villages so you can experience and see how they cook, how they make fire, how yeah. they fetch water, yeah. and all this stuff. Like when we get there, the boys were milking uh, the, the cow. cow. Oh my God. <laughs> she was looking she, like. And she was even taking the videos. Yeah. She was so excited. Yeah. And we were walking and I was telling you, Paul, this land you are seeing is from my uh, grandfather. Uh, mm -hmm. Just because my grandfather every farm. Oh, he was so happy. She was so happy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's rare mm -hmm. just anybody to have a land. Yeah. That's number one. Yes. And here in Africa, majority people have land. Exactly. Hmm. It's a few people actually who don't have land, and if you are African and you don't have land, somehow by choice, sort of, almost, especially at a certain age, mm -hmm. yeah, especially I would say my parents' is age, and you know, so naturally they will live to the children, mm -hmm. you know, but all those people they have land because land was free. <laughs> you know? Now they are selling it too, but I remember when we moved from. The other area, my father got his land for free to, to build and also to have a field. So it was free. So having land like, oh, this is all ours, it's, it's not a big deal. But I know that for the Western world, it is a big deal. Like, you know, no one can just afford it like that, you know, because things are expensive. So I think um, this is one segment, and I think we look forward. To tomorrow, maybe we might have to call you <laughs> yeah, and uh, sure. maybe yeah, to maybe, maybe talk to your friends. Yes, and mm -hmm. um, you know, and just interview here to say what was it about Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. And yes. you mentioned something that I did not want to say because I didn't want my friend to think that I'm too much boasting about Zimbabwe. But that's about really people, children, respect. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's, 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 oh, like, yes. it's yeah. like really like... Um, you know, it's like in our culture, when you are talking to someone older than you, you, you show respect. So early in the morning, they wake up. They say, good morning, auntie. Uh, they bring the breakfast. Uh, in the afternoon, they do the same thing. Yeah, they sit down, they start telling your stories with all that respect. Yeah. So she said, the respect I get from your kids and your grandchildren, compared to my own kids, yeah. which I raised, um, and just goes here. Yeah. I understand if, uh, like, uh, if your kid uh, does something bad, yeah, you can spam. You see, it's the bullish. And uh, even if I look at my daughter or my son like this, he knows or she knows that That's mom is not happy. That eye. Yeah. It's a special eye. So, yeah. so yeah. she was so happy about it and she said, Oh, the respect I get. Even right now, she was telling me that, you know what, I want to come uh, to Zimbabwe and look for a land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one thing I, I'm not going to say much. I'm going to leave it like that because I think you, I, I really want you to experience it. And you say your own testimony and you see what it is that it is. Yes. You know, yes. I think that's the best way. Yeah. And, you know. So since one more thing I want to say, uh, I follow this guy on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, he's on Facebook also. His name is from here. His name is Marwa. Oh, Marwa, yeah, yes. I know him. Yeah. So remember, yeah, Marwa, yeah. he did a party, I think, for two or three months. So there's a guy from uh, America. Uh -huh. So he told these kids that I am going to Kenya. So mm -hmm. when he was in Nairobi, in the city, he take the pictures and send to the kids. He said, but Dad, you tell us that you are going to Africa. Are you in New York City? Uh -huh. He said, no, I'm in Kenya. He said, no. Those people, do they have beautiful houses like this? <laughs> Even my friend, I don't want to let you. Yeah. He said, but why people they talk great about Africa? Yeah. I was expecting that, oh my God. I said, so you're expecting that you live in the Yeah, tree? yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and you know, one thing I want to say, I, I've been saying this, that, you know, people, they said living in a heart, it's like you are poor. No. But you know, heart is a type of a house for the Africans. Exactly. It's not because you are poor. You find a person, they build a nice house, they still have a heart. 
So because it's like a symbol of Africa, really. Yes. It's like a symbol yes. of Africa. Without yeah. the art, almost like it, it, it's something it, is missing. It, it, <laughs> you know? it, it, it. So we actually take that like, you know, my mm. cousin built a house mm -hmm. and she had to have a heart. My dad also. <laughs> you know, she had my dad, they have the same thing. They have a house, but we have the heart. Yeah. yeah. In Black White. Yeah. yeah. We have a house and mm. we have the heart. You know, because the heart is like the heart. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the sanctuary. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, you know, yeah. Also, that is circle. That's where yeah. people they meet, and then they make that circle. People sitting down, and they are talking together. There's something about this, exactly. Exactly. you know. Exactly. So it's not because I'm just telling you out there. It's not because we are poor when we have our hearts. It's because it's a symbol of the nation. Yes, Africans we have hearts. And no matter how much money you have, that's important. Yeah. To explain. Yeah. No matter how much money people have, it's like that heart is always going to be there. Yeah. 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 So you know that's something to add. On. Understanding <laughs> the culture. Yeah. Understanding right. the culture. Right. So thank you so much, Mrs. Chidio. You are welcome. And thank you, Joelle. Thank you for yeah. coming yeah. to Africa to mm -hmm. show other people that hopefully, as we finish the whole time. It's going to be the, it doesn't mean you're not going to experience some icky mm -hmm. situations, you know, sometimes. But, you know, it will be good for you to just take in exactly. whatever you can take in. It's the same thing with anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you are going to experience the good, sometimes the bad. But at the same time, you know, I think it's a wonderful experience. That's one thing I can say to just say, I did it. I wanted it and I did it. And I think anybody who is lamenting out there, people have money. People, they spend more money in the mall than the money you take coming here sometimes. Exactly. It's exactly. true. Yeah. People, yeah. they spend more money yes. on Saturday yes. nights and uh, on Friday mm -hmm. nights going dancing. Oh, yes. You know, instead of actually putting that money for two weeks. Because people, they don't go to those dances without 500 in their pocket. <laughs> 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 500 in their pocket and next week they are going back again with another 500. Mm -hmm. That's enough for the ticket people. So <laughs> please, if you want it, do it and, you know, just do it. Just do it and experience it yourself, okay? So do you have any last words for this uh, segment? No, no, just, I can only share my experience and I feel that everybody's experience will be unique to them. Yes. And, yes. and, and honor that. And Mrs. Chitio, you have any remarks? Ah, I just want to welcome my sister. Welcome home. Feel free. This is your home. No matter what, right now we are in Kenya. Still, this is my first time also to be here. Yeah. So, but as long as you are in Africa, it's kind of like you're in Africa. <laughs> you're in Africa. You just feel so home. That's it, you know? Yeah. So thank you so much for sharing the time with me and for with with others, especially those who need this enlightenment and the uh, the understanding. You know, just you know, just we made it. That was a long trip. Oh, yes. That was a long trip, oh almost 13 <laughs> hours. In the it was uh, to come 15 to hours in uh, 15? Yeah. 15, yeah. Hours. 15 hours. 15 hours. 15 hours. 15, 15 hours oh, in uh, yeah. yeah. 50 minutes. So yeah. 16. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a long trip, mm -hmm. and, and we still have another two, two, hours two, to go. two, two or two and a half hours yes. to go. So it's a long trip, mm -hmm. but it's worth it. Exactly. So hopefully you keep on following because it's going to be lots of um, mm -hmm. videos that we are going to take about different things. So hopefully you keep on following. And thank you for watching. Bye bye now. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> and also, I forgot to tell you more of this culture because I talk about culture, right? You know, anyone who watch my videos, I talk about the cultures and culture show America. And I think I'm going to talk to you too. <laughs> what were your culture show about America and also Zimbabwe or Africa? We can say, but um. I also just published my book that talks a lot about my growing up in Zimbabwe and so if you are interested more to deep, dig deeper into how was it like exactly, then you get the book. It's called Reasons for Living. 
So go to Amazon and get your copy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.